everyone welcome back to our channel yes guys so good to have you back here again thank you once again for always staying tuned thank you for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people yes guys we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got at the moment is regarding the edo state governorship election we know campaign activities are going on different interviews um, are going on all um towards um the governorship race Right now, uh, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, has um, had an interview, and in that interview session, he has stated um, that um, he's going to change the healthcare system of Edo State if elected as governor. We know all of those are still part of um, campaigning activities, promising the people what will be, what his uh, um, government will change, what will happen if he's elected as the governor of the state. You know, he's um, been, uh, he's been uh, um, propagating his um, simple agenda. He has a simple agenda of how to change Edo State, turn Edo State around. Anyways, guys, and we'll bring you all of the details um, in a moment. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up, guys. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. Ize Iyamu set to jumpstart healthcare in a door meets with health workers. APC candidate Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu has assured physicians in the state of his commitment to repositioning the state's healthcare system using his manifesto, The Simple Agenda, when he assumed office as governor. Speaking during an interactive session with Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, in Benin City, he said, the security aspect of his simple agenda covers how the APC government he will head as governor will ensure the safety and security of all health personnel and facilities in the state. Pastor Ize Iyamu added that his social welfare policy will prioritize health care for all citizens, particularly for women during their antenatal and infants, by providing free medical services to them. Delving into the infrastructure development and urban renewal, he disclosed his plans to massively transform our medical facilities across the state by making them not only functional but attractive so that doctors and nurses and even patients can have a conducive environment altogether. On manpower development and training, Pastor Ize Iyamu said his government would place greater emphasis on training and retraining of medical doctors and nurses to achieve maximum performance by utilizing the opportunity provided by the University of Benin Teaching Hospital in the state capital. He said, government can't do it all, so we intend to partner with medical practitioners in the area of public-private partnership in the simple agenda and with private individuals in the supply of medical equipment to equip our hospitals. We will also collaborate with private hospitals and work out ways we can cooperate. For example, government needs to partner with UBTH, which has enormous medical clout, though it is a federal hospital. Not only UBTH, what type of support has the state government given to Irua Teaching Hospital? On the simple agenda's mandate of leadership, by example, the frontline APC candidate added that we intend to also ensure transparency and accountability in government, respect the rule of law and equally be interested in the funding of our hospital as the current state of our hospital are unacceptable. Pastor Ize Iyamu was of the view that in a place like Central Hospital, for example, you'll be shocked to hear that internally generated revenue on a monthly basis is close to 40 million naira, but what government gives them is 4 million, which is barely 10% of what they generate. This isn't reasonable at all. Therefore, government must have a deliberate policy to ensure that funds are available, at least a reasonable amount for them to run effectively. Continuing, he explained that the simple agenda's policy on employment and social empowerment means that more doctors must be engaged while the State School of Nursing, which has been under lock and key for more than three years by outgoing Governor Obaseki, will be reopened within his first three months in office. He said with such a school, Edo cannot be looking for nurses outside the state to work in the hospital. 
adding that he also intends to engage more specialist doctors and nurses, especially for the healthcare centers in the local government. Ask how he intends to improve manpower in the health sector. Pastor Isaiah Yamu said, with most hospitals facing huge shortage of medical personnel, will conduct an all-encompassing audit analysis and the needs and take stock of our healthcare facilities across the state, identify the challenges and overhaul the system. Furthermore, he said, I understand there are some hospitals already built but yet to be opened. For example, in Oto Owa East local government area, this means that doctors and nurses will need to reopen and operate the hospitals. Meanwhile, Pastor Ize Iyama said that a healthier and better Edo is possible if only the people can vote his party, the All Progressive Congress APC, in the September 19, 2020 election, as change will start manifesting from November 12, 2020. Yes, guys, um, all of this, we know they are all um, campaigning um, activities, just um, trying to uh, convince the people of um, what to expect. We know he has stated, in conclusion, he stated that um, let Edo Light vote for APC. If Edo Light can vote for APC, then they will see a lot of massive changes. We heard all the promises he's made that he's going to change the healthcare system. He's going to turn it around and um, he's going to collaborate um, with UBTH and do a lot of things. But guys, uh, um, yes, um, uh, Pastor Isaiah Yama said this, this is the APC candidate. However, Edo Light um, should know what they want. They should know who they want to vote for who is going to govern them because whatever decision they make come September 19th, they are going to be responsible for that um, decision. So guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Um, all um, Pastor Ize Iyamu has promised if he emerges as the governor of the state. You know, he has promised a lot that he will do a lot. There's going to be uh, a lot of job op opportunities. There's going to be a lot of employment. Um, his administration is going to make life better. So yes, like I said, it's very clear his campaigning activities. You don't expect him to come and campaign and tell Edo Light that um, he will not do anything. Definitely, he's going to tell Edo Light what Edo Light wants to hear. That is what he will say. But let us know if you truly believe all he has stated that he's going to do in the state if he um, emerges as the governor of the state. Thank you once again, my beautiful people. Yes, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, um, go ahead and show us some love, my people. Give us a thumbs up. Um, hit on the like button just to let us know you do appreciate what we do here. And um, also, if you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Thank you once again. So I come your way again with more updates. It's bye for now and God bless.